فقه قولی This is the experiment about uh, the time period of a simple pendulum. As you know that for this purpose, we must be aware of that what is a simple pendulum. I told you that simple pendulum uh, basically is consisting of this ball type thing, any weight. You can use any weight and this inextendable string, which is attached with any rigid stand, okay? Now, you uh, please, uh, I'll reply later during the experiment. While explaining the experiment, I won't be able to reply anyone because my full concentration will be on explaining the things. Okay. So later on, inshallah, I'll take your questions. Later in the when I'll be completing this, inshallah, I'll take your question. So please hold on your question and write your questions on your piece of paper. Well. This is the ball of the simple pendulum. Okay. Here I have placed the ruler because I must, my pendulum must move on this line. Okay. It must not move like this. But during my experiment, when I'll be conducting just now, there may be slight uh, difference in its movement. So please ignore that. Okay. So here you can see that the distance of this pendulum from the uh, surface over which it is hanging must not be very long distance. It must not be like this. It must be nearer, like one centimeter or two centimeter. It is better to keep it one centimeter or two centimeter away. Okay. Now I told you last time a definition that what is amplitude. Uh, amplitude is the distance from the mean side from either side. So O is the mean position from O to A. O to A or O to B. So amplitude basically is the maximum distance from the mean position. If I am moving it from O to A or O to B, this will be named as amplitude. Okay. Now, what? How we will calculating the vibrations? How we will be cal calculating the oscillations? Actually, when I leave this bob or the ball of the pendulum, it will come here the moment it will reach here i'll start the stopwatch this is the stopwatch which i'll start i'll start the stopwatch and then it will pass o and then reach b and then it will come again a and then when it will come again at o from from traveling from a to o again now this will be the first oscillation well yeah, uh, actually, uh, students, one very important thing. If you people will keep on writing questions, uh, I don't know why the students are asking this question that is this chapter one, is this chapter two, or is this chapter three? I told you, yeah, please, your concentration must be just listen and look at, uh, just listen and look at my experiment when you people are writing and when you people are concentrating in typing the questions on your keyboard it means your concentration is lost your concentration is on writing the question okay so it means you people will not be listening while writing on the keyboard you people are not listening to me i told you that later on i'll I reply all the question inshallah i'll try to reply the relevant question inshallah now students are asking this is chapter one chapter chapter two. i don't know who is this student who i think so he must be uh, attending my class for the first time i think so since the last many days now please don't disturb during the course of my experiment okay it's for you just listen and look carefully because this is very important to listen because we don't have enough time okay well so now this is the ball i told you now i am again telling you once again i'll leave i'll release the ball from a it will come at o the moment it will reach at o i'll try to start my stopwatch actually it depends upon your responses if my response is very good then i can just start very quickly if my response is not very good it means i may delay or i may start it earlier so the moment i'll start it means my time will start so it will move towards B and then again O and A and then again will it when it will come to O it will be the one oscillation or one vibration. 
one vibration. So I am going to calculate the time for 10 oscillations or 10 vibration. Okay, you will have to uh, see it carefully that what the mistake I may also mistake um, commit mistake. You will you yourself can uh, calculate the time so you can observe my calculations also. Okay, so now inshallah, I'm going to start experiment. So carefully observe. Uh, well, one sorry, there's some mistake. Actually, I forgot to count. These are the mistake which can be uh, normally occur during the course of experiment. Actually, I have to manage too many things at, at the same time. Now, ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I got the time for ten oscillation, which is fourteen point double two second. Okay, this is fourteen point double two second. Please note this time because I am doing it again. There may be mistake to avoid the mistake. What you have to do, you have to take more than one uh, observations. Okay. Well, okay, very good. Somebody got 14.53. I got 14.22 seconds. I'm writing my calculations. You may write your calculations. Okay. 14.22 seconds. Now, once more. Once more. Well, I'll take three calculations. You can also take five calculations. It is a very simple. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now it is 14.06. The second observation is 14.06. 06. Well, now let us take a third observation. What does it say? Okay, very good. Those who are calculating. Okay, well, now again, I am starting the third observation. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now it is fourteen point zero three second. Well, now I got three observations. I got three observations. Now, what you have to do? You have to take the average of these three observations. Okay, students have done the average. So here I am placing the calculator before you that what you have to do. Actually, it is better uh, to take more than three observations. So here I am, I have taken three observations and now I'm taking the average of these three observations. First of all, it was 14.22 plus uh 14.06 14.06 and then it is 14.14.0 14 14 well so total time will be 42.31 divided by 3 because we got three observation so it will be divided by 3 dividing it by 3 i got the time which is 14.1 second. Okay, this is the time. Yes, 14.10 or 14.1 second. This 14.1 is the time to complete 10 vibrations, na? 10 oscillations. Okay, so this 14.1, remember this, this 14.1 is the time to complete 10 oscillations or 10 vibrations. Now, to find out the time period, obviously we have to divide this 14.1 by 10 to get the time period of one oscillation. Now, dividing it by 10, we got 
the time 1.41 second or simply 1.4 second so this is the time period of one vibration 1.41 okay you if you have taken your calculations it's okay it must be near to this now another thing which i want to tell you okay whatever the answer very, very good your answer must be close to this this is the time period this is the time to complete one vibration well now another thing as uh, you must be aware of that the time period of the pendulum depends upon the length of the pendulum this is the pendulum whose length and now i am shortening the length of the thread of the pendulum now we will have to observe that what change occurs now i have shortened the length of the pendulum i have decreased the length of the pendulum now i will have to observe that what change occurs in the time period okay here basically we are doing two things remember this our topic is to find out the time period of a simple pendulum and what is the effect of length please write it on your copy that what is the effect of length on the time period question uh, what we are studying we are studying that what is the effect of length on the time period now you can see that i have decreased the length previously it was a longer one now i have decreased the length you can observe that i have brought this stand slightly down now again i am going to find out um now i have shortened the length now i will have to observe that what changes are occurring here while uh, on the time okay well now let us consider again again the same experiment we are going to observe be ready with your pen pencil and if you are using the stopwatch also you can be well guys uh, so i am going to start 1 2 3 Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now here I got twelve point one zero. I got twelve point one zero. The first observation, twelve point one zero second. Now I'm going to take an other observation. Okay, okay. Someone is getting eleven something. Okay, well let's see. Let's see. check it again let us check check it again uh actually uh, the vibration of the ball is not very much accurate because uh, my handling i miss handling the ball so please uh, ignore it i am just try, trying to tell you that how we are going to do conduct uh, conduction okay well 1 2 3 Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve point one three. Guys, you can see that it is twelve point one three seconds. If you can see it clearly, I would like to show you. This is twelve point one three seconds. Okay, I am recording this reading. Twelve point one three seconds. This is the third observation. Now I am going to take the third observation. well okay well now be ready with it oh sorry there was a mistake in calculating the time again i am doing i am doing it again 1 2 oh it's wrong it's wrong the it is was uh, moving like this so it make a uh, create a maximum error okay well do, i'm doing it again just releasing 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay 12.22 actually 12.22 
Now I am going to take the average of all the calculations. Uh, I hope that you people are recording the previous times, etc. 12. Uh, please. Uh, you go. Is this guys? Somebody is uh, creating noise. Please don't make noise. How this noise is going? Mohit was seen. I don't know whether I close. Uh, Mohit was seen. Actually. 